Who's more creative, introverts or extroverts? Creativity, just like intelligence, has multiple facets to it, ranging from visual arts like design and photography to storytelling, dance, and music production. We all have the great potential to create. But who does it better, introverts or extroverts? And more importantly, does personality really affect one's ability to be the next creative prodigy? Let's find out and see. First, let's address the difference between solitude and loneliness. Although research shows that loneliness is on the rise, finding that some social media, such as Facebook, has proven to lower people's self-esteem, there are in fact many benefits to solitude. Loneliness doesn't necessarily stem from physical isolation. Some people can experience loneliness just from being in a room full of people. Instead, it's a painful gap that grows between the further we emotionally retreat from others. Basically, the minute we stop being open and vulnerable to new social experiences, the more likely we are to develop loneliness. But when people choose to go off and be alone without feelings of disconnection, it's actually healthy. Although solitude is essential for introverts because they often get overly stimulated by their environments, it turns out there's more benefits to it than just your average quiet time. According to psychologist Mihai Csikszentmihalyi, teenagers who had trouble being alone were found to have less levels of creative thinking. Similarly, researcher Reed Larson also reported that when adolescents embrace solitude, they feel less self-conscious, which in turn encourages their creative juices to flow. So in order to create alone, one must grow comfortable being alone. Although painful at times, it pays off being able to face our emotions instead of running away from them. Psychologist Esther Buholt says that solitude is required for problem solving. We might feel inspired and pick up helpful information when we participate with others, but it's only from alone time that we can come up with answers. This is why many artists and writers prefer to work alone. Steve Wozniak, co-founder of Apple, believes that corporate environments only make them feel stifled, whereas inventing ideas alone allows them to feel in control. So does this mean introverts have the upper hand in creative arts? Well, not necessarily. Let's hop off the Introvert Express and visit extrovert land, shall we? Extroverts might not be as introspective as introverts, which can cause them to miss details introverts are likely to notice and analyze, but they excel in group sessions of brainstorming, which can help corporate companies to grow and succeed. Quick to initiate ideas and turn them into action plans, they also make great doers. So instead of leaving their ideas in a passive state, they are stimulated by projects and back and forth communication that keeps the process running smoothly. In conclusion, it turns out the answer isn't always so black and white. Mihai Cheek Sent Mihai states, if there is one word that makes creative people different from others, it is the word complexity. Instead of being an individual, they are a multitude. Creative people are both introverted and extroverted, just at different times. They understand that they need to feed off of others to get inspired and come up with new ideas, but they utilize alone time in order to grow them. Are you an introvert, extrovert, or both? What's your creative process? Please share your thoughts with us below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more helpful tips and share this video with others. With your help, we can reach more people and provide our support. Thanks for watching.